Welcome everyone to another video from the Secrets of the Jedi canon book. For those unfamiliar with this video series, here I break down an excerpt from the Secrets of the Jedi canon book that came out a few years ago, which is basically written from Luke Skywalker's point of view, like a diary, where he wrote about almost everything, whether it be the different Jedi of the Republic or galactic events from before he was born. And once I finish this series, there are two more books that focus on the Sith and Bounty Hunters that I'll get into next, so make sure to subscribe if that interests you at all. Let's get into it. One of the background Jedi briefly introduced in Attack of the Clones, the character of Luminara Unduli was fleshed out in greater detail throughout the Clone War series before meeting her demise during the Great Jedi Purge. Here's everything Luke learned about Luminara Unduli. An esteemed Jedi and an effective general during the Clone Wars, Luminara Unduli waged a number of important campaigns alongside my father and Obi-Wan Kenobi, including multiple battles on Geonosis. Sadly, the Mary Allen Jedi suffered an even worse fate than her fellow Jedi Masters. Captured by the Empire and taken to the prison known as the Spire, she was executed by the Grand Inquisitor. For years, Unduli was rumored to still be in captivity, but it was merely a ploy used by the Empire to lure in any exiled Jedi who might be tempted to try and save her. Although Luminar Unduli wasn't the most compassionate Jedi, as we saw throughout the Clone War series, like when she was willing to let Ahsoka and Beresafi die on Geonosis, or when she ignored the destruction caused to the Martez sisters as we heard them explain. There are times when she still has some good moments. I still remember learning about her fate in the Star Wars Rebels episode, and how dark and twisted it was for the Empire to do something like that. Although the first season of Rebels gets some criticism for being too childish, this was one of those episodes that really showed you what the series could become. I also found it surprising that Luke became aware of the Empire's capture and manipulation of Unduli to alert surviving Jedi to their death. As far as I know, the only time that was seen in a story was the One Rebels episode, so only the crew of the Ghost would have known the truth about this. There wasn't a big broadcast unveiling the reality of the situation sent out to the galaxy, or any surviving Jedi to warn them. So while it may have just been included in the passage to give Luke something to say about the Jedi, my headcanon now is that one of these characters told Luke about what happened. We heard Cannon's voice at the end of the Rise of Skywalker, so if he found a way to become one with the Force, it's possible that he and Luke conversed at some point. Maybe Luke talked with Hera at some point during the war, since they were both a part of the Rebellion until the Empire's defeat. Otherwise, both Sabine and Ezra have a story being told during the Mandoverse, right now with the Ahsoka series, and maybe something else down the line. And we've already seen Luke appear in both the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett, so perhaps these characters could come into contact at some point. I'm not saying this one passage confirms any of those options, but it does give me hope. Let me know what you think of this excerpt in the comments below. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more videos breaking down this book. And remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the forest will be with you, always.